constituents, and he put the question of SB 100 up to his constituents, and 55% of Senator Niederhauser's constituents support SB 100. All right? So what is the problem, Senator? Right. And so, we appreciate you, sir. And we love you, and we even like Rick back there. And we, the, the deal is, we will not leave here until there is an absolute commitment to hear SB 100, or we are forced to remove it. That's correct. So that, that, that is what you can let them know. Done with love, done with you know peace and, and, and justice and all that. Yeah. They can do this. They can do this. Yeah. No, no closed caucus. No closed caucus. No. Yeah, what was that? No, the people have spoken. Yep. The people have spoken. Yep. Right. Let's do it. And we're here representing. And please people. send the president down to speak with us. We'd love to speak with you. We want to be scowl. We want to be mean. No. We would love to, to chat. No, with no. I, I I appreciate the, the the tone you're taking, the approach you're taking. Uh, I mean, obviously you're 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 standing your ground. You're standing our ground, and you're you're working uh, to be heard. But I I really do appreciate the. The way that you're doing this, I mean, I, I think we still can have some love and patience, uh, but but I get it. You know, you want the process to move forward. I want it to move forward. Um, okay, let me see if uh, if there's a way to get the caucus to meet. Uh, let me see if there's a way to get the caucus to meet. So. Thank you. We'll, we'll stay all night. Thank you so much. I got nothing better to do than fly for civil liberties. Do you have someone bringing you water and stuff? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.